good. Okay, there we go. Hi, everybody. We are. Yep. There's. 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 <laughs> poor David. There he is. <laughs> He's just out clearing paths. <laughs> like, there he is. <laughs> there he is. Um, we. <laughs> huh? I was just talking to you. Oh. That's Annie. Hi, guys. Hold on. Let me flip this around. Oh, that's. You're going to hear a lot of that. Okay. Anybody else hear donkeys singing? Yeah. It, you can't, that, that door is shut, but they're all thinking it may be somewhere in the area of feeding time. Yeah. Um, it's a little early, but they're bored silly. Yeah, they're they're not early. going out today. They're just not, huh, Fred? Ooh, there he is. Hi, Fred. I'm positive that uh, if Amanda is watching, she just posted, Fred! <laughs> yeah, huh, honey? Okay. Anyway, so yeah, they're all bored silly, and actually, I've been, you know, pretending I'm a writer in the house, but during storms, you know, you'd think I'd be able to get a lot done, but mostly I just kind of <laughs> stare out the window. You want to come this way and get the, uh, get the, get the, what? Oh, you're going to feed the burrows? Yeah, hang on. Uh, oh, you got a shot of everybody else, too. Oh, here we go. All right. So we got Locket and Meadow. Hey, babies. And if you go, I don't know if this is going to work. Let's try. Let's go way back. And there's Benny Coconut. And behind him is... Oh lordy, here come the here come the mules. Um, there's Mikey. Mikey's just standing up, and here come the mules. Come on, shrink down, shrink down. See the problem when I when I go smaller, smaller, please. Let's go. Come on, come on. Come on. That's Brownie. Whoops. Come on. Why won't it shrink down? This is this to me all the time. <sighs> Come on. So now I'm stuck with Wee. A big picture. Who can tell me how to make this go smaller? <laughs> Come on. Go, go, go. Got it. All right. Vanna Banana. Okay, so there's the mules. They don't mind snow. They just love it. And way, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go. All right. Um, so anyway, so as far as you know, everybody in the back sheds, I would open that up so you could see Norman laying on his big pile of hay back there. But I'm not going to because it'll take me 20 minutes to make it small again. But um, everybody in the sheds in back, the steers got a round bale of hay days ago and that holds them for for quite a while there we go so you know tell you what while we wait for David to feed the mules and hold the camera I'm going to tell you the story about um oh <laughs> there's uh oh yeah are you got you got a little more for Benny Coconut I'm telling you the story yeah well you know <laughs> All right, so the one on the right who's who's not camera shy is Locket, and the one on the left who is camera shy is is Meadow Man. Um, they we we started out. <laughs> here comes here comes Cupcake, who doesn't know why she's not the one in the. All right, so they started out. We started out with Locket, um, who was the original girl on Locket's Meadow, not this Locket, Locket number one. And she developed cancer. And as it progressed, she told me I needed to go get another another burrow. Yes. And I'm like, I, I can't. I'm not replacing you before you're even gone. And she said, you have no choice. There has to always be a locket on Locket's Meadow. And, you know, me bursting into tears because I, I can't deal with this stuff, even though I do it all the time. So anyway, um... I made some phone calls, and as never happens, Yukon had an auction that very weekend, 
and I called and asked if there were any young ones because Locke had said there had to be a baby so she could she could whatever it was she needed to do with the baby and they said you know it's highly unusual we never get babies but there's six of them coming to this auction Whoop, hold on and there is oh I'm gonna try it we'll go a little bit all right there's daddy out there feeding the uh, feeding the mules in their shed <sighs> so anyway um, so we went to the auction. We got there very early. I was terrified. I wasn't going to be able to figure out who the heck was the uh, was the one I needed to get. And I walked in, and there's like 50 Mustangs and all these grown-up burros and all these baby burros. And I just listened for Lockett's voice in my head, and I walked straight to her. And she's like, that's her. That's the one. Looks just like her. And um, so anyway, I... Hey, babe. What? If you go back in. Okay. Anyway, um, holy mackerel, a little bit of snow. So there I was, bidding like crazy. I ended up just, because I, I don't have great hearing because I spent way too much time at the rifle range without ear protection as a child. I don't recognize it. I don't, sorry, um, I don't recommend it. <laughs> anyway, but, so I just put my hand up, and I just, uh, at the end, I was, I guess I was bidding against myself, and the guy's like, are you okay? I'm like, I'm not going home without her. She was the most expensive thing that sold that day, but she said she didn't want to come alone, and she kind of pointed out the little boy down the way, and I bid on him, and I got him for a hundred bucks. Nobody really wanted Meadow Man, so I called her Lolly, because I didn't want another locket while we already had locket. We brought them home. We loaded them, unloaded them from the trailer. She walked directly in. Now there's, there's like six other animals in the paddock. She walks directly up to old locket, and they stood there. What? what? Oh, God. So they stood there. Hang on, let me flip. I'll go back there. They stood there, nose to nose, for, hi, Aggie. Nose to nose for, I don't know, hours, hours. And that happened every single day for weeks until finally, and I had cut a deal with, um, I had cut a deal with Lockett and I had said the day that you're done and you can't take the pain or you're just done. Hold on. It's on! Is it running? Okay, so the day that you can't take it anymore, <laughs> don't take the carrot, because every night I would go out and I would give everybody in the barn a carrot and a kiss on the nose, and um, she would not take the carrot, so there I am, like, sobbing on the ground, no, 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 eat the, trying to force her to eat the carrot, and of course she wouldn't, so I had to make a phone call, and Stacy Golub came out the next morning, and uh, it was, it was one of the, they're all hard. Who am I kidding? It, it sucks every time. But I have to say, Little Locket is exactly like, exactly like her. It's like all of the information that she needed was, was given to her in like all those hours. They stood there nose to nose. So anyway, that's the story of, <laughs> what are you talking about? That's the story of Little young locket as opposed to old locket and uh are you gonna keep on doing chores baby uh yeah you want this door still yeah open? no shut it you can shut it here we'll watch david <coughs> i'm gonna feed this pig now oh god okay so if you guys want to know what it's like <laughs> pig feeding time the sound is gonna bounce off well, the snow they're, they're sleeping they got fresh straw yeah i know but as soon as i know there's buckets coming yeah. So we'll start on this side. I got a I got a, here we go. There we go. What is this doing? <coughs> no. Hey girl! Pam Paisano! Pete! I'm just seeing who, who popped on. Alright, so this is kind of where we're at for snow. Agnes, could you Aggie, she does not like being in the barn because it's going to get loud now, and she's not a fan of loud. Uh-oh, the big girls are out. Iris! 
Iris Magnolia, come on. Here. I'm a little Here. nervous about the, the come on. phone in the Lunch. snow. Here comes Iris Magnolia through the snow. Hi, big girl. She's so hard to like pick out any features. Hey, good girl. Okay, Daddy fed you. There's your bowl. All right. And of course, Petunia Buttercup. Hi, sweet thing. I don't know. Aggie, come on. All right, if she wants to hang in there, she can. Um, all right, and we will. Oh, the roosters have heard. So yeah, we're getting our fair share of snow. Oh. Okay, whoa. Oh, there's mud under that snow. And here's the big girls. Hi, ladies. Oh, America. I'm actually crossing my fingers that the wind kind of stays. So when, for, for these two, we uh, hook, they'll take those buckets and we'll carry them inside. And then we have to run fetch them. <laughs> so if anybody has read um, the Locket, Locket's Meadow books, Harry and Ice are the very first chapter in um, in Ozzy Osbourne's book. And that is Ice, and that is Harriet. All right, here we go. Next round of pigs. We have lots of pigs. Oh, okay. Gloves would have been the smart thing to do, huh? I did not do that. All right, that's fine. She'll just wait there, she won't go in the place. All right. Say hi to goats. Say hi to Annie. Hi, Annie. Took a good girl. Took a good girl. Up, up, up. And we have a recovering goat in here. Gunner's doing very well. Hi, Gunner. How you doing? So he's occupying the space under the stairs. He's the Harry Potter of the week. Whoops. Oh God, don't go down on camera, baby. That's so humiliating. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know. What do you think? We gotta have close to a foot of snow here. Oh, it's a <laughs> gotta be about a foot of snow already. A few hours left to go. Oh, here we go. Hi guys. That's April Rose and Nikki Bart getting their dinner. Harriet and Ice have been with us for about 10 years now. Off, please, eh? They Off. were a couple years old when they were rescued. So 10 years, they're, they're old girls. Oh, there's <coughs> Bart. I see Bart. <laughs> You're like, what is it? Was it romper room? Where she holds up the mirror? <laughs> she says, I see Johnny. And <laughs> Yeah, that was and I see Bar, and I see Carol, and I see Karen. Miss Barbara. <laughs> yep. All right. Come along, Miss Barbara. Here we go. That's yeah. That's we got it. It's like at least ten inches of snow at this point. This. Oh, going coming. down in the mud too, so it's, it seems like it's more. But... Not here. This isn't mud right here. Whoa, that was. <laughs> All right, come on, down, boys. Bart says, hi, Kathleen and Dave. All right, these are the big boys, guys. These are these are the two. Um... All right, Charlie has the ears that go up. And Oliver has the ears that go down. I, I, lost, my, I okay. lost my clip. No. Well, that's bad. Right. Hold on, let me, let me just get a... Yeah, there you go. I'm trying to get a. There we go. Now these are big boys. If you look, how oh, long is this shed? This shed is like a 14 foot shed. These guys are a good half of the shed. Yeah, I found it. You found it? Oh, cool. Because otherwise the bucket could be anywhere by morning. And if he brings it out to eat in the snow, we'll never see it again. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Oh, gosh. Well, look at that. Everybody gets to have lunch with the pigs today. 
Oh boy. Yeah. Okay, they haven't even really plowed yet. No. All right, let's go back in. And I'll just give you a, a quick. Wait, let me flip it. There used to be a path. Right? Yeah, there was a path. That's that's a good ten inches of snow. I don't know. What do you? Has everybody else having the same? Uh, yeah, it's ten inches. It's ten inches. I, I'm not gonna argue. I know ten inches. Yeah. I do. All right. So anyway, um, I'll just give you the quick tour of the uh, inside of the little barn, and then my hands are freezing. I'm gonna go back in and pretend to be an author and try and get a chapter done today, even though I'm really distracted. Hold on, let me make sure that Aggie is still in the doorway. Agnes Amelia! Are you... <laughs> she just runs right back in the house. All right, hold on. Oh! All right, so that's Annie. Uh, she's <coughs> Sam I Am's mama. And here's the big boy. Hi, Conrad. Didn't I just give you some name? Hi everybody, these are good boys. Um, these guys were a, an exciting rescue. We'll, we'll tell their story one day. And of course, hello pretty babies. These two were pulled from the New Holland auction. Um, so, here, come here. Oh, you daddy you good, you good, hey? I know. Hi, loves. So um, Imogen is the is the black one. I'm going and, to feed the uh, Nancy's babe. Okay. Oh, I should. Well. <clears throat> uh, yeah, it's it's just muck. It's just muck. I'm not going up with you. Is that for a crappy wife? I suck. Okay. Um, so yeah. So the the baby is the blacker one, and that's Imogen, and Lavender is the mama, and they were both like, hi honey, deathly ill with pneumonia when we pulled them out of the auction and they ended up spending, I don't know, four or five days. Hi, isn't she adorable? Oh, yeah, Annie Sammy's mom. He is big and she's tiny. We don't know who the daddy is. We know that she's she's got the, um, the freeze brand on her neck. We know she was a wild Mustang. Um, so anyway, so yeah, so these guys were almost dead. And they spent all those days in the clinic at New Bolton, and that was a couple thousand dollars right there. They were they were a cheap sale. They were mostly dead at the auction. We got the mommy and the baby for like a hundred bucks, you know, <laughs> and it cost us thousands and thousands of dollars to keep them alive. Oh, sweet lavender. But you know, we expect that at this point. And then this is, of course, the odd lots with. Uh, Olivar and Chi. What a surprise, Fred. No, what a surprise. You're always the first one. <laughs> anyway, all right. And that's pretty much, that's pretty much, uh, and of course, you know, Vanna. Where's Vanna? Hold on a second. Uh, whoops. She stayed in, right? Yes, she's eating her hair. Hey, Vanna, Manina. All right, and you got to see all the pigs have their lunch, and that's uh, about all my hands are going to be able to deal with from the prison today. Then uh, she would do tricks if I had mints in my pocket. Yes, she would. Is she going to do tricks anyway? Yeah, <laughs> you want to shake hands? Uh, I don't have anything to give you, and then you'll be mad at me, and then I'll take a lot of crap for a long time. All right, so... That was, our, that was our lunchtime snow day live. I hope everybody is staying warm and cozy. And I hope everybody keeps their utilities on. And uh, we're just really, really excited that we have a generator, should we not. But the wind is not as horrible here as they're saying it is up toward Rhode Island. So life is pretty good. Anybody have any quick questions that, that you want to... Um, hi, Fred. Here. Fred. If I do this, he's going to chew on my hair. Hi, Fred. Who's a good boy? Are you my good boy? He's a good boy. You can make out with Fred. He's a sweetie pie. No questions? No questions? What? I know I love you too. I love you too. Yes, I do. All right. Whoops. There we go. Oh, and Shannon, you just in time. You're always late. I'm signing off. But... <laughs>
it's just a little barn today i'm trying not to not to wander too far all right everybody have a great day take care bye bye